This is just trading a jade lizard in IRA. So the same principles apply when you're in an IRA. You just have to think a little bit differently about it because everything in an IRA is cash secured. Cash Me- secured. Meaning that it, you're going to hold mm-hmm. as much cash as if it goes all the way down to zero. You do not get that margin relief. And our viewers watch us trade jade lizards all the time. We created the jade lizard many years ago. I don't know. But now it's, it's sweeping the nation. It is sweeping the nation. I know. I know. So that's exciting. Uh, but we trade it in a margin account. So we're going to show you how to tweak it for an IRA. How to tweak it for an IRA. So let's go through. We're going to go briefly through this slides and we're actually going to show you because we like to do that how to put one on so we're going to go through this then we're going to play a short video for you where we talk slower than this and then we're going to show you how to put it on perfect okay so a jade lizard uh, is a slightly bullish strategy that combines a short put and a short call spread the strategy is created to have no upside risk which is done by collecting a total credit greater than the width of the short call spread Yes, this direction is, it says slightly bullish, meaning neutral to bullish, Mm -hmm. because there's a wide sweeping range where you can make money. Let's go to the next slide and see that wide range. I believe it's one set up after this. (laughs) (laughs) So this is just the general, like, you know, the general loose rules. So we're looking for the out of the money put that's about 65 to 70% the width of the call spread. So if it's a dollar wide, you're looking for 65 to 70 to 75 cents. If it's a $2 wide, you're looking for a percentage of that. You can do $5 wide Mm -hmm. if you're doing a $5 wide call spread. Just think you're trying to get, you know, 70% or, you know, around there from your put versus the call spread. So a more expensive product, you're going to do a wider Jade Lizard so then you're looking for, you're going to collect more. You can't just say, oh, get 70, 75 cents on a put and 30 cents on a call spread. That's a dollar wide. That's a dollar wide. If you're looking at a 250 wide or a $5 wide, that increases. So I like how you put this as a percent of the put, a percent of the call spread. Yep. For so, the credit of the put. That might sound confusing, but we'll walk through a couple examples. We will. We're going to try to walk through a couple of those. Now, let's go to the last and final slide on this, which is just the PL graph mm-hmm. of the Jade Lizard. So you'll notice here that there is a very wide sweeping range where you can make money. So you'll see that anywhere in the green where the peak is, is where your sweet spot is. But my favorite part about it is you cannot lose to the upside. You cannot lose to the upside. When Liz and I started uh, trading, we would sell a lot of strangles. And then we went through a decade of a bull market where we would be tested or losing on our calls. So we were tired of losing on our calls. We came up with selling a call spread instead of a naked call. It was not that much, that expensive to create a spread instead of that naked call because of vol skew. Right, because of the vol skew. Mm-hmm. So this really, it's funny, Jenny, because we didn't... Like I said, people in the room are sometimes smarter than us. We did this because we were sick of going to get losing to the upside. Right. TP looked at this and goes, you guys are so smart because this is the only trade that takes advantage of all skew. And Thank Jenny you very goes, much. You're right. <laughs> so, yeah, <this> <laughs> no, but the put spreads, I mean, you, how do you learn from trading? And so put spreads, you're not getting enough. If you try to sell a put spread, they're usually really cheap. It, it's like, oh, is it worth the credit I'm even getting? Maybe I won't even sell it. Selling a naked put gives you a lot of credit. Creating a spread really decreases that credit. Or you have to make the spread so wide, you might as well do a naked option anyway. So it just made sense to sell that naked put and sell a call spread. They have no upside risk if we go into a bull market and the market starts running up, we're never going to lose to the upside. We won't. Okay, so that is the Jade Lizard in a nutshell, mostly in a margin account. We're going to play a very short video now. When we get back, we're going to show you how to put them into an IRA. Welcome to the Liz and Jenny Strategy Series. We're going to walk you through some of the most frequently asked questions we get about our strategies on the Liz and Jenny Show. In this episode, we are going to go over our very own strategy, the Jade Lizard. This is a strategy that combines a short put and a short call spread. We like to collect at least 70% of the total credit on the put side and 30% on the call spread. When set up properly, this trade will have no upside risk, which is done by collecting a total credit greater than the width of the short call spread. This is a neutral to bullish strategy that takes advantage of volatility skew. The skew means that puts generally trade richer than calls. This works in our favor for the naked put and makes buying the protective wing on our call spread cheaper than it would be for a put spread. Let's pull up an example on the platform. First, we look to sell options that are closest to 45 days till expiration. In this example, we would go to the Jan 17 cycle, which has 53 days till expiration. Then 
someone looked to sell a put for around 70 cents. We do this because we want to get a wide break even and plenty of room on the downside since this trade will have no risk to the upside. In this example, we'll sell the 280 strike. That's about a two standard deviation move to the downside. Now we're going to add on a dollar wide call spread. We'll start by looking around the expected move and we'll work our way down until we can collect over a dollar in total credit. Collecting a credit that is greater than the width of the call spread is what makes this trade have no risk to the upside. Our profit target on this trade is 50% of max profit. In this example, that would be $52. If the stock rallies and goes through the short call spread, we'd still be profitable since we collected a total credit greater than the width of the call spread. However, if we see that the stock is approaching our call spread, we typically close the trade before it moves past our strikes. By managing this trade before it breaches our call spread, we'll be more profitable than if we had waited to close the trade. We can usually close it for about a 20 to 30% winner by managing it early. If the stock sells off and tests the short put, the short call spread can be rolled down to collect more credit and widen our break even on the downside. If there's less than 21 days till expiration, we may look to roll the put out in time and re-establish a new call spread. To recap, this is a neutral to bullish strategy that takes advantage of volatility skew. Jade Blizzards typically have a high probability of profit due to the fact that the total credit received is greater than the width of the call spread, resulting in zero risk to the upside. Jenny, we look so young in those. <laughs> I was going to say, Liz, gosh, that not only do we look young in those, there weren't all the weeklies on the platform. I know, it's kind of crazy. But that being said, what we're going to do right now is show you how to put these into an IRA. And right? how to tweak it, right? So everyone has the rules of a jade lizard, but let's talk about tweaking it slightly for an IRA. Yeah, so you have the baseline of what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to, Jenny, let's jump into the platform Perfect. so we can take a look at what kind of everybody can see what we're looking at. Okay, and let's go full screen so everyone could get a good view of um, of this trade. So I just went to IWM. I like IWM. It's an ETF the tracks the Russell and going using the monthlies. In the video, we mentioned 45 days till expiration. The closest monthly would be Jan with 52 days. It is, and I believe it was about the same in the video as well. So she's going to open up the January 19th, 2024 options. And if you're going to do this, now please keep in mind, if you're going to sell a put, so in our video, we used 30 cents on a call spread and 70 cents on a put. If you do do this, it's going to hold up all of the capital all the way down from where the strike is to zero. So, so let's, if, let's put it in with the video first, like the right. Okay, so if I'm looking for a, a put that's seventy percent of the width of the spread, I'm doing a dollar wide. Here's a put for seventy one cents, and then I'm going to look for a call spread for about thirty cents. So here ex I have exactly a dollar, getting a dollar on uh, thirty cents on that call spread and seventy cents on that put. This is. Uh, a textbook jade lizard but to your point in an ira this is going to hold up a lot of capital so it, it, you'll see this this holds up um sixteen thousand dollars in capital so 16, in an ira in an ira in a, in a cash secured ira it holds up sixteen thousand dollars now i trade in my ira a lot i know you do as well and i do trade jade lizards they just have to be modified slightly in order to fit into an ira so once you kind of understand the rules of the jade lizard mm -hmm. you can tweak them slightly meaning that we're going to use less capital but we're going to bring up that put a little bit we could usually mimic margin so if in a margin account this is using about two thousand dollars we could usually mimic margin in an ira so if I, I don't even need to touch that call spread. I could leave that call spread there. If I move this put up and collect closer to a dollar, I think. 165. Yeah, there you go. Closer to a dollar. It's only a 13 delta. I went from a, a 10 delta to a 13 delta, brought it up a few strikes, but it's giving me an extra 24 cents to use to create, to add risk definition and release capital. Now that's, for every gimme, there's a gotcha in the IRA, right? So we moved our strike up by three, but we're not going to use nearly as much capital. So if you've got a dollar 24, you know, you're looking for about 24 cents to buy something and it's going to release all that. Ca you almost exactly mimicked margin. Well, right. Now we're using $1,700 um it was nineteen hundred dollars in margin so do i have to spend 20 cents on that no i could move it and spend 10 cents and use more buying power i can uh, but here we are getting I, I move my put up slightly moving the risk up a few dollars on the put strike but uh you really 
really reduce the capital and turn this trade into a much higher return on capital in an IRA than if I'm using $16,000 to make 100, now I'm using 1,600 to make 100. So we just have to be pretty clear, the same rules applied where you're looking about 70 cents and 30 cents, but in order to release the capital by buying something, mm -hmm. you have to tweak it where you're gonna bring up your put spread just a little, or put your put a little bit closer. So it is, I'm glad you brought that up, Jenny, because we failed to mention that. You can typically mimic margin when you buy something because it was about 17, what is mm -hmm. it, 19, $1,900? $1,900. And you're, you got too close to 17. So here is the trade. Let's see. Let me. There you go. Here we go. Do it one more time, yeah. Here is the PL graph of the Jade Lizard and IWM. It's using $1,696 to make 104. This is a 52 day trade. And our win range is between 165 and you know, one, 186, well, technically, 187. Technically it's into perpetuity to the top because if you, look at, if you look at the way that this graph is, you can see it's a little bit higher in the middle and then it dips down. Mm -hmm. The reason it dips down but you never see any red is because you're collecting over the width. So mm -hmm. at, at any given time, if this gaps up to you know, $300, you've collected over the width so you're a four cent winner. The risk in the trade is to the downside. If IWM drops down uh, at that 165 level, the risk is getting long 100 shares of IWM at that at that 165 minus our dollar credit. So, at about 164, the mechanics of managing this would be the at, same as if you were if you sold the put. The, if you sold the put, so at the 21 day mark, wherever it was, we would move that put. If the put got breached or we hit that 21 days till expiration and this trade wasn't a winner, we would move that put out in time. We would. We would, and it's, it's what's mm -hmm. good about this is number one, this this trade is um, really good because it does take advantage of all skew. Um, but number two, it's almost as if you're selling that put with with an extra kicker. You're getting an extra thirty cents on top of that. I want to show if someone wants to collect more, I'm. If you want to collect wide. more, you have to really bring that put up. If I'm doing a two dollar wide, I need at least. Typically, I would say a dollar fifty on a put, but with spending that twenty cents buying the put, you you need a little more. So here's a, it moves my strike from the one sixty five to the one seventy, so I'm going from, a you know a thirteen delta put to a twenty two delta put, but now I'm collecting two dollars and using two thousand. So you you uh, we only use a, maybe a two hundred dollars more, and we're collecting two dollars instead of one. Right, and it just so you keep an eye on all this. These are all high pop trades, but what what's great about this is you can use these loose base rules to create whatever risk mm -hmm. scenario you're looking for. If you like having a lower put, um, that's fine too, but just kind of those same rules. These all have no risk to the upside. As long as you're covering the width of that call mm -hmm. spread, you have zero risk to the upside. It's neutral to it's neutral to bullish, and it's a high pop trade with a theta component. And this isn't bad. You moved your put only up by five dollars from one sixty five to one seventy, and you doubled your credit from a hundred to two hundred. I like it. Um, so, and it is defined risk. Your your win range is narrower. When we were getting the dollar, we had a much wider win range. Here it's narrower. It does narrow. I mean, that's true. You, yeah. You're not going to get everything that you're looking for. And that learning to trade in an IRA, a lot of times for me has to do with my capital. I'm not going to spend sixteen thousand dollars to make a hundred. No, and oftentimes in an IRA, I'll look for lower price products. Right. Doing some a trade like this in lower price products. Um, in higher price products, you have to buy something. In lower price products, you don't. You necessarily. You, you don't, don't necessarily have to, have to but right. you can if you want to too. If, even if you want to eliminate right. that capital. Right. Right. And even earnings trades. Uh, we were looking at Chewy today. We were looking at Chewy today that's a low price product and that's something where if you went to the trade to the january and looked for a jade lizard well you can't because there's not dollar wide strikes i looked at this one earlier. Uh, but th this is a lower price product where you could throw in a jade lizard you're looking at you've got the naked put component adding on a call spread and you're only using six hundred dollars. Oh, I'm sorry, fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred dollars. You're using as if it goes down to goes mm -hmm. down to zero, but that's still not bad. Still not bad. So, in an IRA, you either have to bring the put up and collect a little more, or find lower price products. But the Jade Lizard still can be used in an IRA, and I still do use mine in an IRA. Um, so uh, that I liked it. I, I like I, I like the. I always liked the Jade Lizard in IWM. Uh, this will not be the last you hear of jade lizards, especially in IRAs. So, uh, perfect. So let's take a very quick break. Sure. And when we come back, we're going to go jump back into trade small trade off. All right. Stay tuned.